So you got clout, I'm on up, say I'm on up, hey, got to celebrate life, and that's alright, know what I do. Young team been working so hard, they supporting the couple out of these moves, let me hit the snooze, time for me to get up, get bust, I ain't got time to be stuck, you been escaping the buddy, so many tickets up, it's been an honor, the blessing, I don't believe in luck. Alright, this was, this, was, this was originally going to be my first question because comedian <laughs> don't get a lot of credit for being athletic. And you grew up doing sports. Yeah, I played college basketball too. <laughs> I played Juba for a year. <laughs> I'm like, so I you, had, went, you went to college? For, yeah, for, I could play some. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I didn't go for sports. Okay. Yeah, I'm at scholarship, but I didn't go for sports. I mean, I went to get an education. Okay, my a bad. couple yeah. holes, yeah. but you know. <laughs> Mostly the education. Mostly the education. You, you up there, if you ain't up there for the education, then you probably want to go home and get you a child. Nigga, <laughs> 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 go I went to Armstrong Atlantic State University. Shout out to all my pirates out there. Go pirates. It don't exist no more. They dismantled oh, yeah. the school. Damn. Yeah, it's George, Georgia Southern now. It used to be a whole campus oh, and everything, oh, but then yeah, they, yeah, Georgia, Georgia Southern. Well, Georgia Southern satellite campus now. We're no longer Armstrong. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, you just talking so, some shit. Yeah, I know, man. I didn't know that. Okay. They, they killed us, when, man. When they, when they disbanded. They did that like four, five years ago, man. We cried. A couple niggas I know we got together, pulled out some liquor for the whole. Yeah, you know I mean? but yeah. shit, it's over. Ain't no more Armstrong. <laughs> it's over. Student loans still live though. <laughs> Them niggas is still living. <laughs> Oh my God, my student loans is alive like a motherfucker though. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I thought my school died. My student loan died. I was like, who, 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 who I'm paying back? I'm paying Georgia Southern Southern. Like, I didn't go to Southern. I'm not an eagle. I'm a pirate. Oh, wow. So I'm dead like pirates do. I'm, I abandoned it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Unbelievable! Trying to do me. Why are they trying to do me like that? Yeah, that's that's, that's an what I do. What I do that, to deserve this? You know what I mean? They they, they dismantled this. They they took away the band, right? They killed they killed the basketball team. All the whole athletic department don't exist no more. You know what I mean? People was like living their dreams through that motherfucker. <laughs> that's damn. Okay. But yeah, the student loans is definitely alive, so you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah of course they are. So they it's like, know. damned if you do, that, that damned if you don't. Know. It's like, well, why did y'all, y'all just change the name? Y'all could have kept it Armstrong and just let Georgia Southern have it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me believe. I didn't know. I feel But they had to do that shit. This I feel you. Know, white, white men had to show their power. That's the kick of the white men. They always got to show their power. My Stay granddaddy woke. taught me that when I was a kid. Stay well. But hell yeah, they always gonna flex them when they how, came. How uh how did like you going from how specifically did you when did you go from like athlete to like comedy? That happened in college, you said, right? You started comedy. Nah, you started I didn't really being funny in college. Like I was just being funny in college. I used to, you know what I'm saying? You spend you hang out with people that don't really know you for being funny. So then when you start, you're like, oh man, I am funnier than I thought. Because in high school. Yeah. You know what I mean? You kind of, if you're the best athlete, not the best athlete in school, but you're one of the best athletes, better athletes in the school, you, you know what I mean? You kind of like, that's kind of where you just get pigeonholed at. Nobody, yeah. You don't, yeah. Have, to you don't have to be funny. Yeah. That's the thing about a comedian. It really can come from anywhere. It's yeah. like, I, I mean, I was funny. That's how, like, I'm always been funny to girls and shit like that. You know what I mean? Because that's what just what, that's what you use it for. I'm not trying to be funny to some hard legs. It's just not. Me, yeah, growing up, yeah. So when you get to college or whatever, you kind of it kind of felt it a little bit, but I still wasn't using it. But it really when I started bartending, that like I was using, because I mean you bartending, the goal is to get money from somebody. Let's just be honest, it's like a stripper that keeps your clothes on. You know what I mean? I'm giving you a drink okay. and some conversation. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a listening ear. You know what I mean? But yeah. I'm trying to get a tip. Let's just be honest. But yeah. 
So you got to figure it out. As a, as a girl, you have a little bit of an advantage because you got some titties. And the man always wants to stay at the titties if he got to talk to something. If he got, if he got to, every man in the world got his choice. Do I want this funny guy or some titties? You know what I mean? Yeah. So you got to be the most, if you're going to be the guy, I got to be more entertaining than all the guys. If, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because men tip better than women. So I got to figure out how to fucking make men laugh. Yeah. So that's kind of where I was like, oh, man, I can do this shit like all the fucking time. And then people always say, man, you're so funny. You're so funny. You know, like everybody tells you you're fucking funny. And you're just like, well, let me try coming. Yeah. And then so I was living in Savannah. I should have did the shit there, but I'm an idiot. I fucking just moved to Atlanta, <laughs> went to an open mic, and just started doing comedy. I don't really have like a, oh, my God. I just like started doing this shit one day and just had to stop. That's bold, though. I, there's no other way, like, because I see open. I, I mean, I came up here and like went to a comedy show, and then like I would like Google some shit about how people do it. They just say go to open mics, so I just signed up for the fucking punchline open mic, and then just went up there and started doing comedy. I was terrible, but like I liked it. I liked it. You like being up? There. I like being on stage. I like that feeling. I like that feeling because I did get a couple. I mean, I say I was terrible. I did get a couple laughs, but I like that feeling of being. The person that made everybody laugh. I had never like felt it that fast. Yeah. So then you chasing it doing comedy, but it's kind of shitty at comedy. But I like to try things over and over again. I don't believe it. Boot stop it. And something just can make me keep stopping. Then I don't know. I feel like it's clicking now. Shit, it's hard though. You know how it is. Yeah. Yeah. How uh how how long ago was that that you started? How long you in the comedy game? Six six years. Six years. Six years. Six years. Six years. Six years, and you feel you just six and a half, maybe. Maybe seven. Just not feel like it's starting to click though, like like you wanted to. Yeah, I feel like I mean I probably felt like that. I felt like I was starting. It does take a long time. You you have to learn how to tell jokes to your voice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. kind of got to learn how to. You got to learn. You know who you, you got to learn who you are. You don't know who you are for real. For real. Like you you Explain. have to you know. You like most times, you know, people's impression of you. You can like tell, oh, this is a lot. But like, you really only who your, who your parents raised you to be mm-hmm. until a certain point. You got to change your mindset of, okay, what do I like? Do I really like this? And, and being honest, that kind of starts with being honest with your parents about like, hey, yeah, I used to do that. Like, you know what I mean? It, it started with like, becoming who you are is kind of like being open and honest with probably love ones more about who you are mm-hmm. than because it's like up until that point you kind of you care what your parents think so much you know what yeah. i mean am i talking like this yeah. is am i talking in circles i feel like i'm talking in circles for some reason i feel you but like it, it's like when i got a better understanding of who i am and when i like as a man and like what i like and could be dead ass honest about it to anybody in the world then I became better on stage. It had nothing to do with the jokes. It ain't got nothing to do with the jokes. For real, for real. It's how you make people feel. You like you talking to them. Like you got you forget that you're talking. Sometimes comedians we get so into the joke writing and stuff like that that we forget we talking to people. So you gotta talk to people. So when you up there and you gotta think about how it works, how a conversation works and how somebody's receiving this information that I'm giving. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's why being honest, they say being honest on stage is the best way. Just got to open up. This shit's hard, though. Yeah. It's because you got to make yourself vulnerable. Yeah. And it's hard to be. My, I probably, I give, I give my wife the best credit in the world. She said something to me one day, and I probably took it to the stage more than, she's like, I don't need you to be super mad about everything. Just when I need you to be super mad, be super mad. And I was like, oh, okay. That's, it's like, it's okay to lose. I'm. That's the probably the hardest thing I had to get over in comedy. I'm so competitive that right, like right. sets when I wouldn't do well, I would just take it so hard, take it way too hard. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, but the fair thing is, ain't nobody judging this shit, man. This is like for practice, for real, for real. It's it's, it's only once you make it in your brain. So if I'm at an open mic, who gives a fuck if these niggas ain't laughing for real, for real? That's the attitude. It's, it's like, I don't give a fuck. I know this shit funny, but I'm doing something right now. I'm trying to create art. It ain't going to be great every time. And you don't get to judge it. So just say the shit. At the end of the day, just say what you got to say. 
And if it's funny, they'll laugh. If it's not funny, you just redo the shit. You're going to get to redo it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stop just laughing the whole time, man. I'm trying to be, like, serious. Nah, that, that was a really deep answer. Yeah, it's See, that, that that's what I mean. That's why I was that's why I said in the intro, man. I like your mind for comedy, like yeah, okay, like I, I I I feel you, like you. I, I know you coming from like a like a deeper place, like you get this shit, like on on the level that like a lot of people don't. You know what I'm saying? Like I can tell you love it, and I can tell you don't put a lot of time in. I do. You know I put a lot of time in. Real, and, real, and that's probably real. what it was. I just, niggas be doing? you got you got to stop being so sensitive about sensitive about the jokes. That's the kick. Most of my folks just be sensitive. That's what I realized. I was just being very sensitive about the material. It's yours. It's no, mine. It's so you know what I'm saying? Your artist. It's, it's different. But like, but like say you're being vulnerable, not only like on some like revealing like how you think, you also want people to receive it. So it's like a, it's a double edged sword. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it, of course you're gonna like it's gonna that that takes time. You know what I'm saying? Because. You, you and then like everybody's like competitive. Like everybody wants to be that guy. Yeah. So like you know what I'm saying. It, it's it's in it's in you to even be a comedian. You you gotta have like some some type of com- yeah, but com- it's competitive nature. But you gotta be but you gotta become competitive with I think yourself more than you are with others. Definitely. I'm not competitive. Definitely. It's like I want to see everybody succeed. I'm not like competitive to the point where I'm like undercutting you. I don't, yeah, I'm yeah. not. I ain't that deep. No, I, I, I get. I get you know what I mean? Though. It's but, like but I got a lot of people that love me already. It ain't that deep. Yeah. I'm not that serious about it. If you want it that bad to, to cheat for it, then you yeah. can have it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm one of those type of people. Yeah. But, yeah, I feel that. But like I compete. I, when I say competitive, you get competitive. With, I want you to get competitive with yourself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Every day is like, and don't, and hold yourself accountable, but don't harp on yourself too much. You know what I mean? Like, okay, let's just be better than we were yesterday. I made two dollars yesterday. Let me try to make three dollars today. You know what I mean? Set attainable goals for yourself, man. Don't be hard on yourself. You be straight, man. It's life. This shit long as hell. You gotta do this shit. <laughs> you gotta do this shit the rest of your life, bro. You gotta do life the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. be like, man, man, life go by quick, man. This shit the longest thing anybody can do. <laughs> life long, little bitch, boy. Life long, man. It be it be long shit to do. You ever been at the, you ever been somewhere at the, at the fucking DMV or some shit? Your phone died. You ain't got no charge. <laughs> shit. Thirty three minutes a long ass time when you ain't got no Instagram. That's why I'm thankful for social media. <laughs> Everywhere I wake up, I thank God he put social media out, man. That's the boredest move, nigga. I grew up with, nigga, with nothing to do. We used to play this stupid ass game called That's My Car when I was a kid. That's my car, nigga. We would just watch cars ride by and, and, and claim a car that another nigga was driving. Who are we? What are we? What are we, British? Come on. <laughs> what are we? Another nigga was driving. <laughs> Say, so you got clout.